Do you miss out on a chance to celebrate a national holiday of sorts? Today is National Workplace Napping Day. I got mine in. <laughs> did you? <laughs> on the job? And maybe you did get a chance to take part as well. And with the start of daylight saving time, you might have even enjoyed the day without realizing it. RTV6's Brad Forrestal hits the snooze long enough to give us this report in a story that's all new at 6. Heavy eyelids, mouths stretched wide. Let's face it, you're exhausted. And while studies show that a 20-minute nap is good for your health, it's probably not good for your employment. So how can you get through the day without crashing? Stop watching that computer screen. Give your eyes a rest every now and then. Call a friend. Social interaction is a great way to stimulate your mind. Try chewing on ice cubes. The chill will wake your brain, while chewing tells your body it's time to eat and will release insulin. Stretch. And if possible, get out of the office for some sunlight and fresh air. But the real secret is to be well rested to begin with. A good night's slumber. Get on a regular sleep cycle. Go to bed and wake up at about the same times. Drop the temperature at bedtime. As the body cools, it produces melatonin. That will make you tired. Having trouble falling asleep? Avoid watching TV or reading in bed. Train your brain that the bedroom is for sleeping. We've all heard to count sheep. Generally, it means to clear your head, stop stressing for the day, and let your thoughts wander. And while sheep are okay, it may be time to clear your bed of other creatures. Down boy. A fan or soft music may also provide enough white noise to lose yourself. Good luck and good night. Brad Forrestal, RTV6.